Yes, this is van life, lifestyle. Please <laughs> feel free to enjoy the food. All right, thank you. So a few days ago we went to the, uh, there was a Campion Expo at the VNTN Center in Bangshan. So I want to show you a little bit of that experience. Kind of neat. Uh, we've been looking at different things that we can do to our trooper. We've already added an awning and a couple other things, but it was neat to see what was available at the Expo. Kind of gets you excited and thinking about what we can do. Because we will be using the trooper to, to go out on more adventures throughout the country, so it'd be good to see what we can do to, to outfit it, to support us in those travels. So here we are driving up to the Vientian Center where the Camping Expo is. So we'll be taking a look around and as an additional surprise, we're going to go up to the top where the food uh, court is in the Vientian Center and show you some of the restaurants there. We found a great Sri Lankan restaurant, so we're going to try that out today. I think you'd be surprised by the variety of different restaurants that you could find around Vientian and especially at the top of the Vientian Center in the food court, there is a pretty amazing selection. So we're going to take a look today. But first we're going to walk around the Camping Expo, so we got a bird's eye view from the top level. You can see the different vehicles and accessories that are set up, so we're going to take a look. So one thing that's pretty popular right now is camping uh, across Laos and Thailand. You see a lot of places where you can go camp. Uh, even camp out in vans similar to this which is outfitted with a bed and this one's even got a TV and air condition and an outdoor shower. Uh, all these different vehicles we'll see today have uh, twists on this same kind of theme in terms of capabilities also with cooking and dining options so it's pretty neat. So yeah yeah, there's a lot of different places now that are available in, in Laos where you can go and enjoy the outdoors and enjoy the, the van life. So I look at this and I think, well, what can we do with our trooper? Maybe we can have some of these mods put in uh, to make our trooper a little bit more camping worthy. We'll see. Look at this. This is the full camping vehicle here. We got a bed. Uh, it's got an air conditioner. It's got everything. Yeah, it's been fully outfitted. <clears throat> and look in the back. In the back here, it's got some other. Oh, it's got a shower. Yeah, oh, so this is an outdoor shower. Yeah, nice. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, you can take a private outdoor shower. That's pretty nice. And this has your your compressor for your air conditioner. It's got a cooler and some cabinet space for your your sometime pot. Got everything Lao in here. Style. Yeah, it's Lao style camping. Van life. Yes, this is van life, Lao style. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. So after the expo, I had to go back and try out our awning. We've we've had this awning installed for a few months now and haven't used it yet, so nothing like putting it out to a test to see how it works. And yeah, this is a pretty good, pretty comparable awning to what we saw at the show. On a windy day, I think we'd probably have to have this staked down or tied down, but otherwise it, it works pretty good. Even with one person, 
setting it up. And then this is more of a truck type camp with a tent. This is nice. It's got the Iron Man tent set up. Oh, and this has the awning in the back. This is a little bit different than the side awning that we have. This is interesting. So you got your awning in the back and then you got your cooler. So you could have your camping set up right here behind it. That's pretty nice. And then we got the Land Cruiser over here. This is probably the closest, looks the closest to what we would have, something like this. Huh, it's got little light, light poles. It's got, oh, so it's got an awning on one side and a tent on the other. This is kind of like the awning we have. Ours is pretty close to this. Is it bigger than this? Oh yeah, this goes all the way around. It's a 720. And this has a tent on the other side, which is pretty nice. Yeah, a tent with a air mattress. Yeah, the air mattress. Uh-huh, yeah, it was nice. And then this one has the kitchen set up. This is nice. It's got your pull-out drawers, a TV, and a cooler. Yeah, this is a nice setup too. Plus, it's got power, extra power back here. Yeah, this is nice. So our trooper set up a little bit differently today. We've got the back. This is the seven-seater that we got, so... The nice thing is the seats, the two seats in the back fold up, but we'd like to get maybe an air mattress so that if we needed, we could sleep in the back. Maybe even have a cooler back here. That'd be really nice. And that th uh, second roll folds down as well. So we'd have plenty of room, I think, for an air mattress. Maybe one day we'll have one. So that was a camping expo. All in all, it was a pretty good experience walking around, seeing all the different possibilities and seeing what different vendors can offer. Next, we're headed up to the third level and we're going to go to the food court. Food court on the third level of the Van Tien Center is always a good option. Not a lot of people know about it. Heads up. I don't know, but this the way this works is you walk up and exchange money for a card that you can use at the different vendors while kip of course is the best option you get the best rate but it looks like us uh, currency rate is pretty good exchange as well and then from there you can walk around the food court a uh, quick tour pretty much most um authentic local uh, Lao and Thai dishes are available, you'll see. So everything from the Pad Thai to noodle soup dishes to this is, looks like a Chinese style stir fry vendor, chicken and noodles and chicken noodle soup or a kalpiak. Uh, this is a hot pot with Mala, that's a very popular style right now in Lao, Thailand. So it's a Chinese hot and spicy soup, as well as, of course, your damakum or your somtam papaya salad. Then you've got your chicken or stewed pork served with rice and your stewed pork leg. So this is kalkamu, which is pretty tasty. On average, I think most of these uh, dishes were about between 30 and 45,000 kip, so $1.50 to a little bit over $2. And then this was, looked like a Chinese stir fry. Oh, and some Thai dishes as well. 
But my new favorite restaurant is called AJ Lanka. So this is a Sri Lankan restaurant. They serve Sri Lankan and I believe Indian food here. Uh, so the family has a great story. So lots of experience within their home country of Sri Lanka and restaurant and service oriented businesses. And then they came to Laos uh, a little over a year ago, set up this restaurant here with previous experience in food service in the area. And I will let them tell the rest of the story. Hi, Hi there. Hello. Okay. So I'm Amadi from Sri Lanka. This is our authentic Sri Lankan food in town. Fantastic. And you guys have been here for how long? We started last year. Oh, okay. Last year, yeah. All right, so fairly new. Yeah. And can you maybe give a quick uh, description of, of the kind of food that you serve here? Yeah, sure. So we have some snacks like rolls and cutlets and we also have yellow rice, white rice. Yellow rice is a quite authentic food from Sri Lanka which we include turmeric and super healthy. And you can see butter chicken, pumpkin curry, butter chicken is kind of Indian um, influence in it. Actually here we have different combination of food. Okay. And if you are a Korean, you can enjoy the chicken lollipop. Oh, okay. So we make it Korean style. Oh, yeah. that sounds great. We do have biryani too. Oh, that's my favorite, biryani. Really? Yes. Let's try it. Okay. And we recommend secret uh, fried rice. Oh, okay. Fried rice lover. Okay. Yeah. All right. So for today, I, I ordered the mutton curry with um, yellow rice. And then next time, I think I'll order maybe a couple oh, different ones. All right. All right, thank you. Thank you. So guys, I got so excited about my food that I started eating it before I had a chance to yeah. film. But this is the mutton curry and yellow rice along with some garlic naan that they prepared for me. And it was all very delicious. Enough food definitely for two to three people. Again, this is already showing about halfway through the meal, but very healthy serving. The mutton curry had a very rich flavor with the herbs and spices, which was balanced nicely from the butteriness of the garlic naan, and it was all very tasty. Mm. Mm -hmm. And yellow rice had raisins and I believe cashews in it so again it was a nice balance to the richness of the mutton curry the sweetness and the, the richness uh, came together very well so this is my new favorite restaurant good that was good food did you like that Sri Lankan food the mutton curry and the the garlic naan was really good, and the yellow rice. Yeah, the rice is good. Too. The rice with the rice uh, really has raisins and cashews. Yeah, that was really tasty. And some herb is like a Dubai. Mm -hmm. We will be back to AJ Lanka. So thanks to everyone for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.